A few months ago, on a day where unfavorable memories rushed to me while I was driving through an area of town, my husband asked me if my job was worth the permanent physical and mental trauma. Although the question was surprising to me because he asked it, my answer wasn't surprising because it's something I think about often. Is it worth never holding my child again? Is it worth the pain and suffering my family would endure? Is it worth the emotional trauma of watching people's worst days? Seeing the death of children and still doing CPR to satisfy my littlest bit of hope? Chasing people who have nothing to lose? Hunting those who prey on the innocent? And preparing for a potential gunfight? It's literally mentally draining to think about before your day even begins. Community, compassion, and courage. They're more than just words. It's the core of what we believe in. I've wanted to be a police officer ever since I was a kid. I saw my dad as a police officer here for 20 years and I looked at the way people respected him. He came home with stories of helping people, putting away the bad guys, and immediately I thought that is exactly what I want to do when I grow up. I think in the core of everyone is that desire to want to be a part of something bigger than yourself. It took me a long time but I wanted to do something that I was proud to do, that I was proud to look at my kids and say, um, I love going to work, I love um, the excitement, I love the thrill, I love the rewarding aspect of it. There's so many complicated, um, it's a tougher job than I ever thought. Uh, you know, I've, I've been a school teacher, I've been a pharmaceutical rep, but being a police officer is definitely the most challenging, both mentally and physically, but it's also, and I, I know it sounds cliched, but it's the most rewarding. Well, when I think about community, I think about the people and I see their faces. I see my friends, my family, my neighbors. I see the teachers at my kids' school and the clerks in the store. I realize that we're probably the most visible form of community when it comes to policing, but really we're all in this together. We need everyone pulling their own part if we're gonna do our best to keep this community safe and secure. You know, I wish they just realized we're just humans. We're just a part of them. You know, Sir Robert Peel way back in the 1800s said that we're the community and they are us. That's why we have that part of our motto. We're all in this together. And we have feelings, we have emotions, and so those things that are said in the media, you know, that makes a difference. And, uh, you know, I wish they'd just remember that we are human. Compassion to me means never losing humility. Um, being very humble in the job and knowing um, no matter what, we're, we're, we're working with people who have emotions and have families and they're somebody's brother, sister, daughter, husband, wife. And to always keep that as a foundation when you're dealing with people, no matter how bad the situation is, to remember um, that humility and, and that people need to be treated well, regardless um, of the situation. And um, I think it's that compassion that we show the community and what, why we have the support that we do. You know, we often deal with people on their worst day. And I think about how we deal with that experience involving that person will frame that experience for the rest of that person's life. I think foremost in our mind should be, how would I want to be treated? I, I guess the cha most challenging part of the job for me definitely is the uncertainty. You don't know. There's no scheduled events. There's no itinerary for the day. You don't know what you're going to get and every day you got to be prepared and you got to be at your very best physically and mentally um, so that the people with you can count on you and you can count on those people. I think if you stop getting scared you probably need to check why you're doing this job. Everybody gets scared. I've been scared multiple times and I think that's what grounds us and keeps us sane. Uh, to check that fear yeah, we have it, but courage overcomes that fear, knowing that if you don't respond, if you don't find a way to get past that fear, how are you going to help that person? But yeah, we get scared. There's that feeling of, am I ready? Is this my day? This could be my time. Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Yes, 225-201, shot fired, you know, 225. And no matter which way the question comes to me, my answer is always yes. It's worth the fight. The comfortable living of my loved ones and the community around me is worth protecting. 
No matter what evil and sadness we see in this world, there will always be a triumph of goodwill. The physical pain from fighting, pursuing, training, and tirelessly chasing evil is worth it, even if you don't always get to see the reward and happiness it brings to others. I just take satisfaction in coming home and am grateful for the opportunity to walk in my front door at night. It is worth it. It's worth looking your kids and your wife, your spouse in the eye and um, being really proud of, of what you do, of putting on the uniform, of, of being a face in the community that truthfully tries to make a difference, um, you know, and helping people. And sometimes helping people means putting them in handcuffs and taking them to jail. Um, you know, that's not a fun part of the job and we don't high-five each other, but sometimes that's all we can do to help people and to keep people safe. And it's every day I come home and I can look at my family, my kids and my wife and tell them I love them and tell them I'm proud of what I did today. Is it worth it? Oh my gosh. It's the best feeling ever. You know, uh, I haven't had a day in 25 years, okay, maybe a moment where I've regretted my decision, but overall, absolutely not. I can't think of anything else I'd rather do. Helping people, making a difference in this community, I love it. Nice. 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 Nice.